Once you've got your bag halfway sealed, go ahead and set that to the side. Bring out your next bag. Go ahead and lay that one down flat. Might put too much rice in this Remember to try to aim for about six inches when you rice to the top of the bag. All right, so same principle as before. I'm gonna go at least above the rips so that way I can actually open access this later on without any type of knife or scissors. So it's not working backwards so you guys can see a little better. Pretty much to start with the sides here. And you just have to rub it back and forth with a nice hot iron. Doesn't take too long. And then after that, you just do a little check to make everything, sure everything is good. Yeah, that works pretty good. And it is ideal that you get about halfway through the bag. I got a little more of this on the halfway. Something along there where you can stick an oxygen absorber in. And then you can also test the side of it to make sure it's really in there tight. All right, set so that to the side. We'll take the last bag. Do the same thing. And if it feels like it's just not together tight enough, just go ahead and put the iron back and spend a little more time on it. Smiler bags are pretty tough, so they can handle the heat. All right, there we go. Okay. Once you make sure everything is tight, after the other ones have cooled off some, you want to go ahead and reconfirm that it is pretty sealed. good. This one is good too. Alright, now that we have our bag sealed up about halfway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our oxygen absorbers. We're going to go ahead and start using those. And the key here is to limit the as least amount of time as possible that the other oxygen absorbers are exposed to oxygen. So what you want to do is you want to take one of your Mylar bags and you're going to lay the oxygen absorber on top of it. And you're going to aim for about an inch above the bag of the oxygen absorber, and you're going to go ahead and cut that bag. Once you have that bag cut open, this is going to be your resealable bag for your oxygen absorbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that up. And of course, that's why you need scissors. Cut there. Then you just want to go ahead and make sure that, that bag actually fits inside the bag you cut. Just a little sanity check. Alright, so that fits pretty good. We're ready now. So you can go ahead and open up your oxygen absorbers. Pull out the ones you need. In this instance, we're going to need three. And these are the 300 cc oxygen absorbers. Go ahead and set those off to the side. And our main job right now is to reseal these oxygen absorbers as quick as we can. So go ahead, stuff them back into your makeshift Mylar bag. And now, you just need to seal them up again. Well, try to squeeze all the air out, and now we try to seal it up. You just want to get as close as you can without getting on top of the oxygen absorbers. And this way you're just going to go ahead and go back and forth a couple of times so you can absolutely be sure that there is going to be no oxygen penetrating inside of this Mylar bag. Because oxygen absorbers can get quite pricey. You don't want to keep buying them over and over again. 
because it's probably not often you're going to use them all in one sitting. All right, then on this one I'm going to flip over too, just for a double added security. Okay, that should be good. We should now be able to reuse these oxygen absorbers whenever we need them. Now make sure that you go ahead and write all there with a uh, duct tape saying that this is oxygen absorbers.